Okay. Hello, Roger Kubel. How are you today? I'm excellent, Michael. How are you? No complaints of substance. Uh, so tell me about discovering the book, uh, Beautiful Disaster. Um, I was, um, you know, I just uh, finished this uh, this uh, After We Collided movie that was part of this um, this uh, uh, after series, and I I was just at home, and there's this app called Goodreads. I don't know if you've ever heard it. Yeah. And I was just noodling about one day, and they they have these lists, and and there was this book at the top of a, like a lot of these lists called Beautiful Disaster. And I was like, I'd never heard of the book. And I discovered it was like some book that was like 10 years old. Um, and I was just kind of curious about it. And I, I read it and I was like, wow, this kind of hits a lot of buttons for me. It's like a redemption story, but it's also like a, a, a guy who's like a fight club guy and it's a girl <laughs> with a past. I'm like, wow, this kind of like all these kind of uh, things going on, but it was a book and it, you know, it was uh, languishing at a, a studio and, and it had all these turnaround costs that, that I could never uh, in the age of like a, but like a story like that would be made at like either like a, a streamer or like passion flicks or something like that. It's like nuclear. I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, but I was like, if I spec it, um, I could, I could, if I got the rights and I just take a gamble and I just write it on spec, uh, and that's, that's basically what I did, but I wrote it kind of for myself, you know, I didn't like, uh, I, I was like, I, I, I didn't, I wrote it kind of uh, more um, adhering to the essence and the themes of the book, but I kind of played with the genres, so to speak. Mm -hmm um and kind of took it out and and the people who i made the after series with were like we'll let you do it go if you go to bulgaria in covid and that's, oh. i mean that's a short a short version of how we did it so you shot this in bulgaria i did yes interesting i, yeah. I would have never have guessed that you left north america i i, I could good have <laughs> I take credit to 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 the production designer and the DP as well. Yeah, mission accomplished. Well, yeah. One thing that's interesting about the movie is that it really evolves. It kind of goes from this to that, and there there are interesting elements within the movie. Uh, one thing is poker. Poker is a big deal in the movie. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering, are you a good poker player? Do you, do, are you? Uh, do you have friends with uh, people that are are good at it? I'm the worst poker player. Ever. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> 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 um I, 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 <laughs> I will lose money um right. i can't even play go fish man um uh, no i but i had dave sojai who was my producing a uh, producer uh one of them uh was an excellent poker player so he mm. was kind of like my technical advisor on it um so i i said you stay right by me <laughs> uh one of the key um you know one of the key things I've learned as a director is don't pretend to know what you don't know. Mm. Um, so I, if I don't know something, I, I surround myself with, with advisors. Um, so he was, he was somebody who I latched on to. I think uh, that's just good advice for life. <laughs> it is good advice for life, you know? So, so we got um, Ginny poker lessons and, and learning how to shuffle and all that. And, you know, mm. uh, even with like the, the visual effects, we were trying to like look at ways to kind of tell the story visually. Um, yeah. So t t tell people about Virginia's uh, character. Tell, tell people a little bit about her uh, uh, journey in the movie. Um, well, her name's Abby Abernathy, and she kind of has this kind of past, you know? She, she, she and that, that was really, tr uh, it's really tricky um, because we kind of want to make her kind of a mystery, you know? She, she has a backstory. Um, how do I do this without giving too much away? It doesn't really matter. She's like uh, it trips out. Like it's interesting how it trips out. She starts off as one way. Yeah, yeah, but I think uh, like we know she's like lucky thirteen. She's like this uh, uh, poker prodigy, and she's trying to reinvent herself. Um, I guess the twist is who her father is and all that. 
but uh um and then she's she meets you know she just wants to like be a good student and all that and she she hooks up with this guy who's also kind of got you know who's probably not good for her but she falls <laughs> in love and and um and then her past catches up with her um and they go keep going on these kind of this adventure so to speak um uh if, does that describe it pretty yeah, well yeah, yeah. Uh, okay good. Uh, yeah. definitely like toxic love is more interesting in movies don't you think i mean i don't want to see some yeah. banal you know boring yeah. you, you gotta give me you know some 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 size that i could explode at any moment yeah exactly yeah yeah to exactly. good toxic right solid yeah. toxic we need some toxic yeah <laughs> yeah so so um that's basically uh yeah that's 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 kind of like where it goes and then uh you know the, the sexual element too um oh yeah a little repressed um it's yeah it was definitely there there are some clues that i i like uh that i think were put in subtly and it pays off nicely for sure uh without uh yeah anyways uh another element we were talking about poker uh the the fight club uh element as you said was interesting are you more into boxing or are you more into ufc that is what i want to know after seeing this movie um well i'm into ufc only because i have a son who every <laughs> friday night is making me watch ufc <laughs> uh, you know we kind of started off as a little we were we 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 were you know we were definitely were watching like a lot of movies like before we we shot the film but fight club was definitely the main film we were looking at mm -hmm. you know there was also like um um a couple of uh of uh oh my god he just had a movie come out I'm, uh, uh, he was married to Madonna. Oh, Sean Penn? No, no, the oh, other Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I my God. Like at first. <laughs> right, and he did that movie with um, Brad Pitt. I'm, like, on a game show right Smash. now. Smash. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent <laughs> fight scene. Excellent fight scene. Yeah. We're done. Uh, uh, you know, we were inspired by, uh, by a lot of those um, scenes um you know just uh to get inspiration because you know one of the challenges we had we we shot this movie in 25 days um which is not a lot of time you know so we had to 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 be very choosy in in how we shot this luckily we had an excellent dp josh reese um um so so in those scenes and we wanted to make them each different you know like Mm. change them up from the the first scene which is more kind of the fight club to the more dramatic one with the uh brady hoffman guy to the final one and tell me about working with your leads uh virginia and dylan they're amazing you know dylan and i had the experience of working with on the after movie so i saw his range and and saw that he could do you know both the the comedic stuff Mm -hmm. um and you know it's funny he he reached out to me for this role he was like he he texted me one night and he goes hey i really like the script and i was like what script and he goes the one you just wrote uh -huh. I, I was like can you do this part and he goes yeah i can get in shape i'm like if you can get in shape i i think we can make this happen you know so he's uh, as soon as uh, voltage signed off that which is the studio uh, he started training and Virginia, we we met in the casting process. So you know, because of COVID, you're kind of limited to you have to take a leap with with in terms of the chemistry. So the three of us had lunch one day, um, and uh, um, you know, but I approach the you know my background a lot is theater. Um, so I would just workshop the scripts. You know, when, so when we went to Bulgaria, the three of us would just get together. And the rehearsal process was literally just trying out the scenes. And a lot of it is rewriting for me. Mm. We would just get together. We'd read the scene. I'd see what's working, what isn't working. We'd try to improv some stuff. And then I'd change it. And whatever would, would fit. Sometimes I would throw out the scene and start over. Mm. Uh, what, you know, whatever made it feel natural to them. And whatever moved the characters and moved the plot forward. Sounds like a smart thing to, uh, to do and also like a lot of work. Uh, 
Yeah. I, I'm sure a lot of people don't do that just because they don't feel like it. They know it's yeah, at the right. But I'm like, I, you want to like tailor for your actors and play to their strengths. You but do. Just, I mean, the, yeah. the, 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 I don't mind doing the work because it's like I only make, you know, you can only make so many films in your life and you might as well make the best one. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the downside is, is like you're also trying to be you know mindful of the original material which is which is the book and you're trying to make the book stuff work and and you you give it a couple goes and if it's not you you have to you know you're there to make a movie um and not a a book yeah i guess maybe i don't know like how many this isn't like you know, God with the wind, right? I mean, how many people are gonna want it for like word for word? You got what you want to get like the spirit of the book, right? Is is, is that's that my feeling. Yeah. That's my feeling, and that's very interesting. I'm learning that now too in the age of you know, in 2023. Um, you know, when I made Cruel Intentions, it was it was different. There wasn't the internet, mm -hmm. um, and these fandoms, um, uh, they weren't as or, or you you didn't have like the interaction you do now um where they're really looking for you know word for word um and you you know you you kind of want to make everybody happy but at the end of the day you have to as a filmmaker you have to make yourself happy first um and i sometimes take liberties because uh you know i uh, sometimes i'll play with genre you know mm -hmm. fun okay so uh yeah you were talking about cool attentions you've uh You've been, which which came out 1999 nine right. yeah yeah uh so and that was your first film correct correct okay uh and but you've you've uh you've done a lot of tv you've done uh you did an episode of entourage what was that like that was awesome uh, that <laughs> i was, was i was very grateful doug ellen gave me that that you know it, it was great it was it was, uh, uh, you know, I got to work with all the guys, um, um, you know, it was, uh, it was crazy. I, it, you know, it was like, um, I, I did one episode. I, I, it was the one where, um, they, um, he had to take a drug test, you know, uh, um, oh, it was like someone and, else's pee or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was like a, when he was dating Sasha Gray and he was doing a lot of coke. Was it that? Sort yeah, of I, she yeah. wasn't in that episode. It was with Bobby wow. Flay. Um, mm -hmm. But I had I had just done a play with Constance Zimmer, so I had known her. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, so at least I I was you know I was scared. Uh, you know, because <laughs> you're working with all these guys who are like icons, uh -huh. uh, but. I don't, you know, it, it was just a blast. Uh, you know, I can't, and, and what was so funny is like, I grew up working at a video store uh, on, on Maranac Avenue and Kevin Dillon used to come into the video store. Uh. Um, so I was able to go up to Kevin on the first day and go, um, you don't remember me, but I used to, used to come into the video, video adventure and <laughs> I used to wait on you. So instantly I had a rapport with him. That's fun. Yeah. All right. Well, Roger, thanks a lot for your time. Uh, it was Thank you. Chatting with you today. One more question, though. Yo. What is your favorite thing about Beautiful Disaster? The, um, I, you know, Dylan and Jenny. Okay. There you go. Yeah. That, that beautiful, toxic love. Yeah. Okay. We'll say that. <laughs> Or I'll, you I'll take that, it. That, that, that's, you that's you were on with that. Yep. That sounds good. Thanks, man. All right. Thanks. Thank, you very, thank you very much for your time. You too.